We're going to get started. And yesterday we had what a new sight word. What was the sight word that we were working Where. on? Where. Where. Now what I did today is I have your letters for you, but today we're going to unscramble them. Just leave them right in front of you right now. I have all the letters you need for the, to spell your sight word, okay? So right now they're all scrambled up. So I want you to cover it up. And I want you to unscramble your word to spell where. Where is my backpack? Well, where is my dog? Where is my dog? Or where is my hat? Where's my hat? Mr. Nanda, didn't we read a book, Where is my hat? Yeah, we did have a book, Where is my hat, when you were reading with me all by yourself. Yeah. So we're all working on spelling the word where. And when you're finished, you can uncover your word. Great job. Super work. I, super work. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our letters down one at a time. And we're going to say W-H-E-R-E, -E, where. Push up. W-H-E-R-E. Where? Make sure we move left to right. Pull down. W H E R E. Where? Push up one more time. W H E R E. Where? Great job of remembering your word. Now, um, what was our book about yesterday? Where is my glasses? Where is my glasses? And what was that story um, mostly about? Um, the teacher lost her glasses. The and teacher will, and will. The teacher kept losing her glasses, and the class would help her. Usually, Will would help her find her glasses. But at the end of the story, she was looking for her glasses. But they were on her face. But they were on her face, so they Did looked everywhere. See? And remember, Cordell thought that Will was trying to take her glasses off at the end of the book. Cordell, what re really was happening? He tried, to, he tried to show them. He was just trying to show her. He was pointing to them like, your glasses are right there. To see, that's what he told his teacher. Now, right now, we're going to be doing our sight word scrambles. I'm going to give you your board. Oh. And I'm going to make sure that we scramble all these letters up. Scramble the letters up. I'll take them actually off the table. And I'm going to pass you your marker. You're going to cover up your board. Oh, it's pretty hard to cover up. Well, kind of, yeah. The best you can. And I'm going to take these letters out, okay? And then when I say go, you're going to unscramble your word. Spell where? G-O. Go. Unscramble. What letter do you need first to spell where? H. Remember to cross out your letters after you use them so you don't get mixed up. You stay on track. Mm. Or. Okay, remember write it three more times. Mm, 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 mm. Great job, Amelia. Stay on track, Cordell. Good job. W H. What goes right here? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then what's next? Um, mm -hmm. And what's last? E. Then I wrote a bunch of times. You did. That's okay. You need to write it at least three times. After you're finished, make sure you hear your marker click. Mm -hmm. Great work. All right, now click, close your marker, make sure it clicks. Great oh, job, Amelia. A lot of you did. Great oh, practice, me um, Brandon. Super work, Cordell. Make sure when you close your marker, you hear the click. Make sure you hear it click. And then pass me your marker. Here you go, Mr. Nanda. Gracias. Did you hear it click? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guess what I counted at home? What? A million. Wow, that's pretty high. Okay, we're going to take a look at this book, and we're just going to take a look at the cover. Where is my hamster? Hmm, that's what I was just going to ask you. What do you think that animal is on, the, on the cover? Maybe it's a hamster? Uh, what else might it be? A mouse? A maybe a mouse? 
Maybe a rat, okay. What else do you think it could be? Anything else? Mouse. Maybe a mouse, okay. I mean, hamster. Maybe a hamster. All right, so this right here, I want you to look at the cover because we have one of the words that we just worked on. Where? Where, Where is, is, my hat. is not my hat, because that, would, would that, could that be hat? Where? Hat? How do you know that could not be hat? It, it don't have no H-A-T. It doesn't start, it doesn't have H-A-T. So this actually, question. what is your question? I question about the H. Mm -hmm. I wonder why it's shaped like a P a little right there. They kind of made it just a little fancy up at the top, but it's and still it's, an H. It's kind of like cursive. A little like cursive. Uh, mm -hmm. and, it, and it pointed to the um, um, W a little. Right. Now, the title of this story is Where Peanut. is Peanut? Peanut? Now, what kind of punctuation mark do we see on that cover? A question mark. A question mark. So when we see a question mark, we have to use a hmm voice. And not an excited voice, but we do have to use expression. But we're going to use more of a, a voice like this. Hmm. Yeah. Where or, or is or do Peanut? This. Hmm. Or can do this. Well, we're not going to cross our arms. We don't need to cross our arms. But that, we're going to be thinking about... You might be upset if you have your arms crossed. And plus, our parents do this when they get married. Or you could do this. That is true. Mm. You could be thinking like, hmm, where is Peanut? So let's read the title together. Where, where is Peanut? Peanut? Now, just by looking at the cover, who do you think Peanut is? The um, hamster. Probably the animal that's on the cover. Where is Peanut? Now, let's clap out Peanut's name to see how many syllables there are. Peanut. Two. 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 Two syllables. So where is Peanut? Now, it looks like they may, someone may not know where Peanut is. Let's open up to page two and three. On the title page, before you go to page two and three, if you look at the title page, you see the animal with this little girl. Her name is Laura. So maybe that animal is her pet. Maybe it's her pet. We're going to find out in the next page. Or her owner. Her, it's her owner, right. Let's go to page two and three. Now, what do you see happening on page two and three? Walking. The animal is walking, right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next page. Page four and five. What is Laura doing? Playing. Playing with her pet. Now, Cordell asked me earlier, how did I know her name was Laura? Look at page four. Tell me if you can find the name Laura. Laura. I can find it Yes, on there actually a few times. So you can see her name is Laura. That's how I knew Cordell. It is on there three times. So you can, everybody found it? Good job. Okay, let's go to the next page. So, so far the story is about Laura and six Peanut. And seven. Page six and seven. Now what's happening with Laura? She doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know where Peanut That's is. Why she's like this. That's why she's oh, like this. Where no. is Peanut? Oh no, we've oh, seen those words before no. in yeah, the It got an exclamation mark. It does have so an exclamation like, mark. Oh, oh no, I'm not thinking I'm at the end. So we oh, means we have to have have just a second, mark. just a second. We have to take turns. We cannot hear you if you're talking when someone else is talking. So we just have to take turns. Mm -hmm. What were you saying, Malik? What were you saying, Malik? I, I said it got an exclamation mark. Right here, and it got those um, little things the that I forgot. What are those? Quotation, quotation marks. marks. So, Cordell, when we see quotation marks, what do we need to do? When well, we see quotation use, marks? Uh, you need to use a talking voice. You need to use a speaking voice because someone is talking. So, why do so Laura doesn't know where Peanut is. So, let's look at page 8 and 9. Where is Laura looking? Underneath the couch. Looks like she's looking underneath the couch. The couch right. Now, why do you think Peanut is hiding? I think she wants to play hide and seek. Maybe she's playing hide and seek with Laura. What do you think, Brandon? Maybe she wants to play hide and go seek. Well, that's what Malik just told us. Uh -huh. Maybe that maybe they're playing a game. Let's find out. Let's go to page ten and eleven. Where is Mom looking? Mom is looking under the table. Do you think Peanut is there? No. Probably not. Let's go to the next page. She probably is still playing hide and seek. Maybe. She's in a book. She's in a boot. She's in a boot. Well, that's a really interesting hiding place. Why do you think Guinea, I mean, um, Peanut would have gone into the boot? Why do you think Peanut would have gone into the boot? 
Why do you think she went there, Brandon? Maybe, maybe she won't play um, hide and seek. I think. Maybe. Right, but why? Maybe why do you think she went in the boot? We know that she might be playing hide and seek, but why? To maybe to take a little nap. Maybe. Let's go back to page two and three and see if we can find out in the story if they sort of give us information. Now, everyone thought that this animal was a hamster, but it's actually not a hamster. It's a pig. It is a pig. How did you know that, um, Brandon? Uh, it's a pig? Yeah, well, it's a P-I-G. You see the word pig. Can you find the word pig on your page? It's a type of a pig. This is called a black? guinea pig. Oh, that's why it's black and brown? And guinea it's so pigs fuzzy? can be black, they can be brown. But it is fuzzy. Guinea pig. The nose is right here. I know, but how is it, how is it a pig and it don't have the pig nose? It's just a different type of pig. They just uh, is a guinea pig. It's yeah. not like the pig that and you would see at a farm. It doesn't have a curly tail. It doesn't have a curly tail. So what, what is a, what is something else? Now that you say that, what is something else that's different between a pig on the farm and the and the guinea pig that you see on the page? Um, What's a the pig on the farm is pink and they don't have fur. Very and good. And they have a curly tail. It has a curly tail. What's a different observation that you see? What's the difference between the guinea pig on the page they and the pig you would see? Pigs on the farm do not have those kind of feet. Good job. Brandon? They do not have whiskers. And they don't have whiskers. They don't have that kind of fur. And they don't have fur. Good job. Now let's go to page two, and we're going to start uh, reading on page two. And I think I'll call on... We're back on page two. Mm -hmm. So we're going to read about Peanut. So Malik, can you start, um, start us out, please? Yes. Great job on remembering what kind of animal that is, Malik. Let's go to the next page. And we're going to have um, on page four and five, yes. So now here's Laura. She's with her guinea pig. And we're going to find out what's happening on this page. Mr. Cowens. Here is Laura. Peanut is Laura. So you see Laura, but what do you see at the end? Laura. But what, that's Laura, but what do you see at the end? What letter is that? S. So we have to have the sound at the end. Great job, Cordell. Now remember, whenever you see, can I borrow this for yeah. a second, please? Whenever you see the apostrophe S, you have to make sure that you have the sound at the end. So it's not Laura, it's Laura's. That means it belongs to her, Laura's guinea pig. Let's go to the next page, and we're going to have um, Brandon, sure. Oh, no, said Laura. Where is Peanut. Now, why did you change your voice when you used the red? Oh, no. It, it got an exclamation mark. It has an exclamation mark. mark. Right. So we have to change our voice. And, and, so and she doesn't know where question. Peanut is. Let's go to page 8 and 9. Miss Amelia. Peanut? Peanut, said Laura. Where is where are you, Peanut? Laura looked and looked for Peanut. Peanut, Peanut, where are you? I like that when you made a mistake right here, you went back to reread so that you make sure that you're understanding everything you're reading. Good job, Amelia. So she still can't find her. Of course, we know where she is, yeah. but Mom and Laura don't. Um, Mr. Malik, why don't you take over to find out what's happening with Mom? Mm -hmm. Mom looked for peanuts. Mom looked and looked and looked peanuts. Peanuts looked. Where are you, 
Thank you for changing your voice when you saw those quotation marks, Malik. You want to take over for now? Oh. Oh. Look. Said Laura. Here is peanuts. And why did you change your voice at the end? I saw that there, there was quotation marks where someone was talking, but why did you say, here is peanut? Why did you read like that? Because there's an exclamation mark. The group is doing so much better with reading with expression when we see quotation marks and not reading like a robot. Good job. Now, before we, um, before we stop, I want to go back to the story. And I want to know if you can tell me what's one connection you made. Like, what is something that you thought about when we were reading the story about Peanut and Laura looking for Peanut? Amelia, I like that you raised your hand. When my hamster got lost, but he was just... He was just underneath my dad's bed. So he was under the bed, okay? Does anyone have, have a different connection? Brandon. Um, um, uh, um when Kane uh, got lost, but but he was all the way down the street. Who's Kane? Uh, 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 my, my grandma April knew the dog. Okay, so your dog got lost. Anybody else have a different connection? Cordell? It's a girl dog. Oh, it's a girl dog. Okay, thank you. And so, I'm sorry, what did you say? When I was playing with my dog. When you were playing with your dog? That's what it reminded you of? Why did it remind you of you playing with your dog? Because in the story, she was playing with her dog. Well, she was playing with her... I mean, guinea pig. <laughs> she was playing with her guinea pig. So it reminded you of a time that you were playing with your um, pet as well. It looked like a doggy. It could look like, I guess, maybe a little puppy, a small one, when it's first born. Okay, and great job today, group. Over. And the bucket tipped over. And the bucket tipped over, yes. Okay, great job. We are going to... Um